And this love is very, very deep, very, very strong twin flame soulmate energy, very guided, you guys. And right now, too, during this time of year, I have to say, uh, you're, you guys are missing each other more than usual here. It'd be really interesting to see what Christmas songs came down for you because you did get two there. I miss you. Guys, also this potential again for this new beginning, it's here. But I want to say to you, <laughs> in this particular deck, it's so silly, but really, look. Look at that gingerbread popping out from the clouds here. Your person made some bad decisions, some, had some really clouded judgment, I want to tell you. And for some of you, there is a little bit of immature energy, I want to say. And a little bit of your person hiding there. So it's not that surprising that actually the Queen of Swords is here because it is a little, it's a little safe space for people that are being naughty. <laughs> <laughs> and it is Christmas here. So, you know, guys, Scorpio's person, Santa's watching you. <laughs> Hi, Scorpio. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. Hi, if you are a regular watcher, thank you for being here. And also to new watchers, hello. Welcome. Glad you have joined us today. This is for you, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, your love reading. <laughs> your love tarot reading, tarot love reading, also your love oracle reading and your love messages reading. As always, we have channeled love messages and the tarot closet channeled love messages. And of course, channeled song messages, messages to you from your person through song, talk a little bit more about that later, but I'm going to keep things moving today. Also, guys, today we will be pulling at the end of the reading a channeled Christmas song. Now, don't feel um, uh, excluded. That's what I want to say to you. If you do not celebrate Christmas, don't worry. It can be that there's still something in this message for you. It can be a title, a name, one word. Also, it could be that there isn't. So there's not, you just take what's yours, throw away the rest. And that really is the bottom line in your reading, guys. Anyway, take what resonates for you, throw away the rest. This is a general reading, guys, so not everything will always resonate. At times, it can feel like a private reading. I want to tell you that. Other times, it can be that there are pieces for you can come in any number of the decks here, something already on the table, something that is mentioned, really. Um, and today we are not going to be pulling totems, we are going to be pulling letters and numbers. So can also be that something is coming through for you there. Guys, please remember that this is not a prediction. Your outcome is your own Scorpio and Crosswatchers. Please use your free will when watching your reading today. And the last thing, thank you, spirit guides. Here we go. <laughs> it's already starting. And Gemini Virgo is also already coming through, guys. That throat chakra. I think somebody might be having a, <clears throat> wow, hard time speaking up here. Interesting. Angels and ancestors. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Can you tell us what is going on with Scorpio, their person, their love life, any messages that need to come through today in particular in relation to love, but we will take anything that you want to send through today. Guys, um, well, look at that. Okay, those are yours. There's one extra here. That was quite an interesting uh, shuffle. <laughs> I want to say to you that... Um, what did I want to say? I want to say that this is for December. That's what I want to say. 2021, 2021, however we are saying that. Your love reading Scorpio for December. That's what I wanted to say. However, when you get here is when you're meant to be here. Your readings are timeless, truly. You can come here weeks later, months later, years later. If you are resonating with the reading, that is when you are meant to receive your messages. So remember that as we work our way through the decks today. Gonna surprise you here with this deck. We'll look at it in just a moment. This is Seasons of the Witch, 
Oracle and uh, Yule Oracle cards, excuse me. And um, yeah, <laughs> so that's also the Christmas theme as you probably can tell. I'm going to start turning cards over guys and you can take a look at your spread while I get your overall energy here. Please keep in mind that I do not re read reversals. Excuse me, if you are meant to get a message in reverse, you will get that message in reverse. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, guys. Temperance was the last card that came down. Sort of an extra card. I'm just setting it over here for now. Going to turn cards over, as I said, and let you take a look before we get started. The High Priestess Scorpio. Justice right underneath it. Okay. Also, I want to tell you, Pisces, the High Priestess was there as well. If your person is a Pisces, could be not necessarily the case, but Libra is also here, guys. The Six of Wands. Oh my gosh, that was very, very strong in Pisces reading. Also, Cancer, I want to tell you. And Six of Wands energy, guys. There is some Leo there. Lover's card is here today, Scorpio. Okay, some Gemini energy here, but gosh, what a beautiful card. Look at that, guys. This is the surprise Christmas deck. There's Gemini Virgo. What's going on? Somebody's having a hard time maybe owning up to something here, not wanting to admit something, speak up. That's coming through very strong. Guys, the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy here. Your person has not let you go is dreaming about you very much here. Look, um, wanting to come in here, possibly for some of you. Nine of Wands, you guys. Uh, Sagittarius energy. There's some more Sagittarius energy there. Your person can be a Sagittarius, but that is just not always the case here. What's going on? Is somebody sort of holding back here? Is that you? You've got some boundaries up, Scorpio. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. We'll get more into it in just a moment here. The Queen of Swords, interesting. And look, you guys, it's here in the coveted spot. If you watch my readings, you know. If you don't, I will tell you. This is the area where people kind of go. The Sometimes the ghosters, the breadcrumbers, somebody maybe not telling the truth. Very interesting that we have the Queen of Swords here, which is sort of the opposite, but still in the place, almost coming here to take the place and say, I, you, you still have not told me what I want to hear or you're keeping something from me. Something's going on here, guys. And um, we're going to get a little better look. And look, it's not really surprising um, that right below it in your last card here in your spread is the Devil card, Capricorn energy, guys. Okay, I'm going to just try to straighten it a little bit for you. Get your overall energy here. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have an overall energy for Scorpio's person, please? What might they be thinking? Their next move? What's going on? Anything that needs to come through, please. Okay, guys, I do not look, by the way. Can we have an overall energy, please, for Scorpio? What might be going on? What needs to come through for clarity, understanding, decision-making, peace of mind, whatever needs to come out, guys. Okay, um, now before we take a look here, I want to say to you, at times, and it does happen, it can be that the overall energies are switched. So Scorpio, you are here. Your person is here. This is your person's here that we're looking at first. This is yours. And it can be um, very clear to me early on, or it can come to me a bit later, that they need to be switched. And other times, it can be that they belong in, excuse me, the overall reading. So we're going to see what's going on here, but that's been happening a lot this month. I have to tell you, um, it's been really fascinating. Taurus had a complete jump. The Page of Swords just wanted to be over here in um, Taurus's person's energy, and it just kept coming through the Page of Swords energy. Um, it was meant to be, and that's really how things are. So let's see what's going on. All right, uh, King of Pentacles, I do want to tell you that this was the overall energy in, um, gosh, was this K Pisces? I want to say this was Pisces, you guys. But it turned out to be really for the entire reading. Yes, this was Pisces. Pisces uh, person 
was the king of pentacles and Pisces overall energy was the ace of pentacles, interestingly, and it kind of turned out to be for the entire reading. Anyway, I want to tell you this is Virgo energy, but Leo is also coming through here. Look, yeah, it's happening. <laughs> I think, I don't know about switching, but I think it's going to be that this is for both of you. Four of pentacles, guys, I want to tell you somebody's not letting somebody go. Now, Scorpio, I think this is you. This is your overall energy. However, I really feel like it's your person as well. And somebody here is wanting to offer this pentacle. What is that? This is a love reading. That's commitment, guys. That is kind of the, also the safety, feeling feeling safe and comfortable, being loyal, all the practicalities. What are the things that keep people together? What are the most important things? Loyalty, respect, honesty, truthfulness, same thing there. The commitment, um, it's all really, it all goes together. And look, I'm very interesting here because we're also seeing in the 10 of pentacles that your person is wanting it all um, with you and also feeling very regretful about what happened and what they did lose. Also, maybe what you guys were talking about having going further for some of you children in marriage, that's not going to be for everyone, but for a particular um, set of people, guys, really very strong and coming here right after is the queen of swords. Somebody, you, I think, wanting some truth here. This is kind of coming along. I don't think you've let your person go, Scorpio, and I don't think they've let you go either. And I want to say to you, I do feel like this is both of your energies, but I also really feel like you've been really wanting this back with your person. But I think they do too here, guys, in the Ten of Pentacles. That foundation got really rocked between you, Scorpio. It's very clear just looking at your reading here already. I'm going to put these down because I really feel um, like I want to just get moving here. Guys, uh, your very first card in your reading here, this can sometimes be really about you and it will come through very, very strong. And in other times it can be about the entire connection, something for both of you. For example, with uh, Pisces, it was very much about a decision, um, coming to a decision. Your person could be a Pisces, I want to say that, um, because I do feel here, look, it is coming down as your first card. First of all, this is about the two of you, very strong twin flame soulmate energy, but also I can see a very strong imbalance. Somebody was giving more, was that, no, it was my arm, <laughs> was that you, Scorpio, is that your person? Uh, guys, I'm not biased. I'm just going to tell you um, what is coming through for me. I do feel like it was your person. And underneath that um, is the justice card, which is kind of owning up to it. And this is Libra energy, as we know. Excuse me, my arm's just <laughs> all over the place here on the table. Um, but I want to say to you, I, I do feel like you're wanting some kind of truth to come out here. Um, we're also seeing it very strongly here in the Queen of Swords. Now, again, this is the placement, the very first card, and you're always extra strong. This is your reading, but sometimes your person can come through stronger. In this case, I think it's you, Scorpio, really, really wanting to hold your person accountable for something here because we're seeing it also in the Queen of Swords energy. This is making things... Um, making things, but this is uh, putting, you're in a position of needing to make a choice here. I, I want to say to you very much with the high priestess, you guys, an imbalance, we see it. Uh, it's clarified here um, with the justice card, also the queen of swords, some truth needing to come out very, very strong. Some of it has been addressed, not all of it. We see that with the sword energy, there is some conflicting energy. There is a really strong need for clarity in order for you to make a decision is what I want to say to you. And with the high priestess, we know what this is. We know what the universe, what your God, your goddess, what is your higher power to you? Spirit is sending through for you here to really trust yourself, trust yourself, trust your intuition and this decision that you're making here and also what it is your person has to say to you about whatever injustice here has happened. It's very clear there's something going on. It's the very first placement, you guys. And again, as I said, in this sort of spot of hiding, 
Normally your person would be here. So it can be that that is your person saying, hey, tell me the truth here. What do you want? This can all be reversed. I have to say that to you. But Scorpio, I feel very, very strongly that it's you taking this position here to make a point um, with your person for them to also not just own up maybe to something here and be honest about whatever it is that's gone on, but also how they feel about you, okay? And I do feel like there's a strong indication that your person is wanting to come. They may have already mentioned that or have already sent you some type of message. We see with the King of Pentacles, you guys, they're holding on to that, uh, excuse me, that pentacle here, that commitment. Um, and well, very emotional to you guys. I want to say that to you. And as you look over here, right in your relationship placement, guys, this is the second placement here. This is about the two of you, your person. Look here, the six of wands really wanting to come here. There is the laurel wreath on the very, the tallest wand. I want to say the first one, guys, the new beginning, the opportunity, the potential for you guys to get back together here. They're also wearing it. There's a whole, whole lot of heart chakra here. I want to tell you lots of love, you guys. But here are the things I hate saying, but <laughs> Scorpio, but I do feel like they're not just for some of you other people involved. We see that here. But for some of you, the other five wands, guys, this is the energy of love. I want to tell you that first of all, very passionate and very strong love here. We see that with the one here, guys. But the other five here, bringing that to a six, is telling us that your person does want to change things and wants to get past this conflict and instability. But there's still something here. If you're seeing this horse, I want to say to you, the face, of course you are. <laughs> very emotional, very, very passionate, sort of a freedom in some ways to come. But on the other hand, I want to say, the horse is kind of looking, and this was very, very prominent, I have to tell you in Pisces reading, sort of looking back saying, can we? Is it, is, it, is it safe to go? Can we go now? Because I'll tell you here, guys, this is what they're dreaming about, okay? Is coming here, having success in this partnership, getting that horse to turn around and look and go. The horse is not really... The, the, it's like the horse can't see where it's going, okay? Or maybe there's even something here they don't want to look at. It's very interesting. Also, guys, with the six here, really, either way, your person wanting to come and sort of, I want to say, call uncle, <laughs> truce, peace here, um, very much some harmony and healing needed desperately. And what is coming right after that? The Ten of Pentacles, you guys. That's a lot of pentacles. That's everything. That's all the commitment. That is the, the house, the love, the, the, um, the relationship here, the future. Look, we have the fortress here. It's right here. It's so close. It's everything. Your person does have their back to us. So I do feel like there is something here, Scorpio, that might have been and might continue to keep your person back. But uh, make no mistake here, we see the six of wands, we see your person here, this Leo energy, by the way, really wanting this to work. They really want this success. We see that in the laurel wreath they're wearing and the laurel wreath they're holding up here on that big wand of love, guys, the energy of love here, the tallest one opportunity here to come. So I do feel for some of you, they're feeling it. But there is something in the way here. We can see the horse kind of looking over. But here it is, those ten, pen, ten excuse me, of pentacles, guys. This Virgo energy here, this kind of everything. Uh, the loyalty is there. The twin flame soulmate energy is there. Do I feel like your person for everyone was loyal? I don't. I think for some of you, something did go on here. And for a lot of you too, I want to tell you there is a strong energy, excuse me, of divine timing, but also just of more than one thing going on. We're seeing that here in the Six of Wands. And if you watch my readings, you know, a lot of times there are particular messages that will come through, you know, for a card, what, what is going on with that card in particular. If you, um, for example, the Ten of Pentacles with money, if you're doing a general reading, but that's not always the case. Um, when I am doing my readings, a lot of different things can come through. And sometimes the actual meaning will be a little bit different. And again, I do not read reversals, but 
those reversal meanings can also come through in the energy. That is why I don't need to read reversals. But I want to tell you, your person here is really uh, wanting this. But there is something here. What is that? Why is that horse looking over a little bit back here saying, can we, can we go? They're definitely dreaming about it, you guys. And you haven't let them go either here with the four of pentacles. And as I said, I feel like this is both of you very much and manifesting somebody back. Is this you trying to manifest your person back, your person manifesting you back? I think, I think it's the case for both of you is what I want to say. But again, guys, here is that queen of swords energy, which is just really not that surprising here with the first card needing for something needing to come out possibly something still being hidden from you or something you know that maybe they don't know you know or something you're still trying to figure out get your person to say look or something that happened here there is that justice card really wanting clarity on it you guys there's that star for me that is aquarius is there i want to tell you also there is that one star again this possibility for new beginnings, you guys, an opportunity for that. But in order for that to happen, there's some super strong um, balancing, excuse me, guys, that needs to happen here with the temperance card. We see that a lot of rebalancing here. Some of you might be taking this path to something new, to your own joyous outcome, okay? That's not going to be for everybody. Some of you are wanting that with your person, and we're seeing that also here in the star. There is opportunity, you guys. And I do feel like your person is wanting to seize that opportunity, but there is a little bit of fear. There's something blocking them. But I also feel a little bit here, guys, um, that could also be you. <laughs> I'm here with the Nine of Wands, you guys, just kind of having your defenses up. And it's coming right below the Ten of Pentacles of your person wanting all this. And you here holding those Nine Wands, so much love. And Nine, you guys, things coming to fruition, wishes fulfilled here, attainment, getting something. And we see it right below the Ten of Pentacles. But I feel like you're not quite sure. Why is that? Because something here is off balance. It has been. Your person may have been giving more to someone or something else in their life and can be that they still are. And that is what is um, sort of stopping this horse, I want to say. And then in that case, they're more dreaming about this Ten of Pentacles, maybe not doing anything quite yet here. But there is an imbalance there was and that needs to be corrected i want to say to you for you guys to be together again if that is in fact what you want what you both want a strong need for you to trust your intuition here and what your person has to say um, whether it's about telling the truth whether it's about them being able to come and offer what it is they're saying they're going to offer something here very very strong i really feel like this is you in Pisces energy, there was a whole lot of decision making between two people. So it can be if your person is a Pisces, you guys, that those readings coming together make even more sense to me. But I do feel like for you in particular, Scorpio, there is some, some really strong trusting yourself here, some secrets um, that were kept that might still be getting kept and you here um, or that were kept that were part of what broke this up here. You're wanting that clarity. Look, you're wanting that truth from your person. You're holding up that sword. Really strong twin flame soulmate energy here, you guys. Also this potential again for this new beginning. It's here. But I want to say to you, <laughs> in this particular deck, it's so silly, but really look. Look at that gingerbread popping out from the clouds here. Your person made some bad decisions, some, had some really clouded judgment, I want to tell you. And for some of you, there is a little bit of immature energy, I want to say, and a little bit of your person hiding there. So it's not that surprising that actually the Queen of Swords is here because it is a little, it's a little safe space for people that are being naughty. <laughs> and it is Christmas here. So, you know, guys, Scorpio's person, Santa's watching you. <laughs> Okay, I'm being silly now, but really guys here with this need for you to trust yourself as you're seeking some type of truth or some type of um, something here that happened in between you and you wanting your person to hold, uh, to be held accountable. You want them to admit something. Also hear about this balance. And I feel like for some of you, it's coming through now that for some of you here, they're 
they're maybe still not telling you something and you know that, um, or they're come, they're, they're still not quite ready to offer the same to you that they might be, for example, offering to maybe another person or something else in their life too. It can be work related too, for some of you, I want to say, um, but yeah, very strong, very, very strong Libra energy, of course, here with the Justice card. And I really think you know something too here. You have the High Priestess. You also have the Justice card here wearing your crown, guys, being really connected to the crown chakra, to what spirit has to tell you and wants you to see here. And I think you're, you're kind of not letting up. <laughs> Scorpio, I feel like you're really wanting to, um, you're not relenting here. Also in your defenses that you have up until you get what you need from your person. Scorpio, you're a fiercely loyal, a uh, fiercely loyal person with those you love. And I don't think it's about not loving your person. I think it's about holding them not just accountable, but because that just sounds, well, that's very much the justice card, <laughs> but it's, it's more just, um, all the work and all the rebalancing and for some of you the the travel and the changes in your life necessary if this is something you're going to do again I feel like you want to be really clear um and I don't know it's coming through now too for some of you that there might be a little bit of needing to look at both sides of something here and um, soften up a little for those of you that feel like you uh, are really <laughs> putting the hammer down here with the justice card. That's not going to be for everyone, but that just came through for someone to um, loosen up those um, boundaries a little bit. Okay, so that maybe you can see something that you might be missing. Is that for everybody? No, but that is coming through here, guys. And look what is coming down. How can we miss this? What is happening here um, in the second placement, your relationship placement? A lot of love, okay? Your person here, look at that. There is the lover's card, you guys. Gemini energy, I want to say to you. Also, there is that six again. There's the six, there's the six. Really needing to rebalance, heal, um, create some harmony between you in order to move on. That is super, super strong. And look, I love this, actually. Um, she's wearing the lights that are in my thumbnails. <laughs> But this is a very divinely guided connection, I want to tell you. But here's the other thing. I really just feel like in order for this to um, continue here, guys, there is that justice card. It's really strong that you're holding on to something, Scorpio, that maybe um, you know or maybe that you don't know, but you're not letting it go is what I want to tell you. You're kind of looking up here. You are definitely, um, I do feel it can be re reversed, you guys. And there is no gender here. But Scorpio, I do feel like this is your energy of trusting and looking up and saying, yeah, but I want to know. Your person looks a little bit clueless. <laughs> and I, I don't mean that in a rude way. I mean it that they're kind of maybe not 100% sure um, of what to do here. Or like here, excuse me, I'm holding it <laughs> with the six of wands. A lot of love here. But there is a little bit of confusion here. Can we move? What is what is here? Your person is on the horse ready to go, but there are a lot of people and obstacles you can see around. You can see the horse is sort of looking over, as I said. I don't think it's for them, lack of them wanting to come. I think there's just something um, in the way there is what I want to say. That's going to be different for everyone. But it can also be your person um, is a little bit in their own way here. And here's the other thing. I do feel like this is you with your boundaries up, but the other thing is your person too. It's coming down below the 10 of pentacles. For some of you, your person's just not giving up and it's all coming down here under the four of pentacles, which is not letting go of this connection. I don't think your person is letting go and I don't think you're letting go, but I do think you, you want to hold them accountable for something. And that would actually make a lot of sense for you, Scorpio, because that is something about you. You don't really forget if somebody has hurt you or um, not been loyal to you or faithful or telling you the truth. You you can hold on to things. You can hold on to them forever. <laughs> You're um, very fiercely loyal, but also to yourself, I want to say here. So there is a little bit of a message for some of you that might need to um, loosen up a little bit in that respect. It's not going to be for everybody because I don't know. It's what happened. 
what happened. It's going to be different for everybody here exactly what extent that is going to. But I want to say to you guys, here with the devil card, also, there you are again. Very strong twin flame soulmate energy, as we know. Hi, guys. Camera there. I don't know what I missed, but... Here we go again with another six. Super strong need to heal about something, guys, that happened between you that is not has not been settled yet. We see that here with the Justice card and the Queen of Swords. Something here is still needing to be worked out for you guys to come back together. Can it be that there was another person? Yeah, definitely. Can it be other people? Yes. Can it be a particular thing that happened? Yeah. And here with the devil card too, it also tells me for some of you, there might have been, yeah, some stuff going on with another person or maybe partaking a little bit too much in something. What is that for you? Take that as it resonates, guys. But that is the devil card energy very much. And it, it is right here um, as your last card coming down. Um, but before we move on, guys, I just want to say to you, it's a very, very strong, strong reading that your person here is wanting here with this pentacle to offer that pentacle here. And there's something you, Scorpio, really need to trust yourself with. Excuse me. There we go. That's better. Um, here with the High Priestess card, we see with the Justice card, as we know, holding your person accountable for something that they may not be have been ready or be ready to accept. Your person here wanting to come, guys, with that Six of Wands, dreaming of what you had, of what you could have here with the Ten of Pentacles, neither of you letting each other go with the Four of Pentacles here, you wanting some type of, well, justice. Here we are with the Justice card. Here we are with the Queen of Swords. Some type of truth here coming out. We also know that with the High Priestess, guys, some secret, something not worked out yet, potentially. You've got your defenses up here still um, with your Nine of Wands. And there's that lover's card. Who? So much love between you guys. It, it has not stopped. It's a very deep love. But here's the other thing with the lover's card. And it comes back here to the high priestess. A choice. A choice you guys are making. Or possibly you. I think it's you, Scorpio. Can also be your person. But I think it's your person, is, I feel like, is a little bit kind of... Uh, confused maybe or not sure or holding back. I don't think you are. <laughs> I think you know you need to hear something. Something needs to be settled before. But make mo no mistake, guys, there's a lot of love between you. There's so much love, so much deep love. You can see it here. But there is definitely something that needs to get worked out. What is that, Scorpio? Guys, okay, um, our card's traveling. Look, they're traveling here. Okay, that's going back. Yeah, interesting. I want to say to you that this happens a lot in my readings. And when cards are traveling, guys, look, it's staying here now today. Okay, interesting. Um, that, that stayed. But sometimes cards do travel. It's been very strong this month. I want to tell you both in the overall energies, but also with the spread. And that is because there are other messages that need to come through. But your messages are very, very emotional, you guys. Wow. Your messages are very clear, Scorpio, here. It's very clear that your person does want to come. I want to tell you that again. Here, we see that in the second placement. There is the Six of Wands right below it, the Lover's card. We see that. We see also, again, with the King of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles, dreaming about that, you guys. I don't think it's for lack of love and not wanting to come. I think that there's something here in the way for your person. And that could even be, that's not going to be for everyone, but that can even be you. <laughs> um, not quite ready or they're, them not quite ready to own up to something. I don't think that's for everyone because I do think there are also obstacles that are not just about you, for example. But that's really strong for some of you here. Okay, guys, um, we're going to get a Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle card. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What would you like to send through for Scorpio? Look, they're sticky on my hand. Let's see what's going on, Scorpio. 
Okay, look, <laughs> there's that star. Guys, there is that new beginning, that potential, I have to tell you. I'm, I'm going to read this for you, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Follow the stars, for they know best. Not too light, not too dark, a shimmer of what is coming next. Guys, very strong Aquarius energy, first of all, I want to tell you. In some ways, like getting the star card, also the star card being an eight, which is about movement, you guys. And this is really of what is coming next. This is completely talking about that. Now, your person can be an Aquarius. That's not going to be for everybody. But the main thing I want to tell you here is this glowing one star, which we've also seen here in your reading already, this chance for a new beginning, um, this opportunity, you guys, and potential for you. And I do feel that in your reading, Scorpio, very strongly. The love and passion is super intense. But I do feel, again, that there, and there is this hope here, too, you guys, very much this hope uh, on your person's part and also yours. But I want to say, Scorpio, I think for you, it's really dependent on you getting the answers that you need, the truth that you need here with the Queen of Swords. Um, whatever secrets or something that has been kept or that was coming into play, excuse me, in this connection here with the High Priestess, the Justice card, right below trusting yourself, there's the Justice card. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if there's ever been a clearer message, but there is a lot of needing to get some clarity uh, here that's also coming through, guys. Like getting the star card very, 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 very much. Um, really needing to get some clarity before you're willing to put these defenses down, I want to tell you. And look at all that, look at all that heart chakra too, and all that love. Those are nine wands, you guys. That's a whole lot of love. Is that Led Zeppelin? <laughs> that's coming through for you. But that's a lot of um, energy. That's the energy of love, you guys, nine of them, but you are not letting something go. I want to tell you here, it's very, very clear. The Queen of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Justice card, uh, very much here and the Devil card appearing right below it. What was that that happened? Um, this Capricorn energy, your person could be Capricorn, also could have nothing to do with that. It's the energy, you guys. But this is the devil card. This can be a little bit of obsessive stuff going on, partaking in something, taking too much, an imbalance, something pretty major. I think it's a lot more than just about the imbalance and possibly some ghosting and clouded judgment here. I think it's uh, something bigger and you have not let it go and the light is changing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that's something... Uh, very, very strong here coming down below the Queen of Swords, you guys. Some really strong clarity needed for you guys if you're going to have this new beginning and this restart here. And again, there's that Temperance card um, balancing big time. Okay, you guys, um, let's look at channeled love messages. Your person, by the way, could be a Taurus. want to put that out there. This is Selenite, you guys. Excuse me, um, this is Taurus energy, also very much related to the crown chakra. And guys, that's super strong here. The other thing too, um, this is also very strong. I want to tell you Aquarius energy, also Pisces, Cancer, could be Scorpio, Capricorn energy here. Really, uh, this amethyst, you guys, is what I want to tell you. And some more of that harmony and healing needing to take place here with the guitar wanting to be in your reading today, and specifically this guitar, which can also be a lot about helping somebody to get some clarity, um, make better decisions here. It's very strong for your reading today, Scorpio. Okay, channeled love messages, direct messages to you from your person. And if you ever feel like you're sending them, you go with that, that is meant to be. That's how it's resonating for you. What do you want to say to your person? To your Scorpio, cross watcher. You are my soulmate. All right, you guys. Yeah, I want to say to you too. Um, oh, look, there's a lot of emotional energy here, you guys. I want to say, I'm going to put it here actually. I want to say to you, uh, I'm not going to go into it today, but you, most of you know that already. Twin flames, soulmates are very different things here. Um, but there are twin flames here for sure, I know. Some of you that know you're on the journey, some of you that aren't sure, some of you that know but you don't know if your person knows. Some of you are on the soul, uh, here for your soulmate as well, I want to tell you. Um, and it can be more a soulmate because you can have more than one soulmate. And not just romantically, but we won't go into that, of course. 
Um, so I wanted to say that to you. It's there is twin flame energy here, guys. There's also soulmate energy here. The bottom line is it's a very deep spiritual connection, but some loyalty or trust, something has been broken here. It's very strong. The love hasn't changed, but like I said, Scorpio, you don't you don't let things go easily. So there is a little bit of a sign here if it's something that is let goable, so to speak, or if maybe some of you might be being a little bit extra harsh, um, that's not going to be for everyone, but that's coming through for those of you that need to hear it here. Spirit is recognizing your hurt and your need for justice, but also for some of you, just a, a need to be a little more flexible. It's not going to be for everybody, but that did come through. I'm so sorry. Yeah, gosh, you guys, look right here in front of the queen of swords is where that wants to be you give me butterflies <laughs> yeah look guys also the queen of swords here we see that twin flame soulmate energy guys and we also see the potential for you guys to have this transformation right below you see the one big butterfly here and look this was, um, I haven't put the butterfly out in a really long time. You seeing that? That was uh, my feeling today, that I wanted to put the butterfly on the tarot closet channeled love messages. It's very much uh, a, a strong message for you guys of having this opportunity really to transform, Scorpio, your relationship. I want to say that to you. Um, but there is a, just a really strong need for you guys to have a conversation and get some massive clarity and some apologies needing to be made and clarity about where it is you're going, what happened here, not just the justice behind it, but we do see that. So, but the butterfly energy, interesting that that is what I um, put down today. I'm going to put it here actually. Okay. Yeah, I have not had the butterfly down in a really long time. You want to say to your person okay this is also yours come back to me all right you guys very specific message there actually let's put it here you know it's interesting that I just put it there because I do feel like for some of you um, your person might be getting the vibe here that you look this one foot in one foot out. I do think that was your person's energy too. It can also still be their energy, but you, I feel like that's your energy, Scorpio. And some of you might have taken this path to, this is representing the sun, this candy cane, <laughs> candy, um, little candy, Christmas candy here. But this new path here, uh, for some of you, you might have already taken that while your person's here, you know, and daddling around trying to decide here, you know, up and down, balance, foot in, foot out, you know, giving more, going back, giving more here, giving more here, really a little bit wishy-washy energy, guys, I have to say. And some of you have started to leave here and your person is talking to you to come back. That's not going to be for everyone, but that is very specific to some, for some of you, I have to say. That just came through. I spy on you. <laughs> There's that page of swords energy, you guys. Yeah, your person, I want to say to you, um, this, like I said, this was very strong in Taurus's energy. So if your person is a Taurus, definitely go check that out. Check it out anyway. But um, that's the other thing too, you guys. You might have, some of you have blocked your person or they've blocked you, but they're finding a way, I want to tell you, to kind of keep tabs a little bit on you and could also be why for some of you here with the temperance card, they know um sort of maybe what you're putting out there is a little bit false to kind of get them thinking but some of it too they might be hearing from mutual friends or family or seeing it themselves and getting worried here because I do feel like it's not super fast your person moving they're wanting to move here guys and there is a lot of love here you have the lover's card I mean this is a deep love but it's also telling us there's a decision and we see that in your very first card you guys with the high priestess here so it could be some of you have already made it or some of you are thinking about making it maybe your person is aware of that energy they haven't let you go I don't think you've let them go I think even for those of you that might have taken that path away there's still a love between you and that that's something that you'll always have for those of you that have moved on even. But I just don't feel that super, super strong energy that you've gone. Like forever gone is what I want to say. Although I do feel your frustration because you are kind of demand 
loyalty is one of the um, number one things about you, Scorpio. Okay, they're getting quiet. There I go. I didn't really know love until I met you. All right, last chance, Scorpio's person. Last chance. Okay, look, I'm plotting our reunion. <laughs> All right, well, here is that offering, guys, that commitment here. Excuse me, here is that six of wands. Wanting that reunion, we see it. We see it in the laurel wreath here, on wearing it and holding it up here with this one wand, this energy of love, guys, this new beginning, this opportunity and potential. Yeah, I just feel like it's a little slower um, maybe than what you'd like, but it's also, I think, because there are not just obstacles in the way, but, well, you. <laughs> I don't think you're in the way, but I just think you have some defenses up because we see here with the justice card and the queen of swords that you're wanting something, um, the devil card coming down too. gosh, right below it, your person to own up to something here, but make no mistake. They're dreaming about it. These are 10 pentacles. You guys, this is sort of everything here. They're really wanting that with you. I just feel like it's, there is a little of immature energy here, a little bit of wishy washiness, some pride, more immature than pride, I have to say, than um, the proud energy, the immature energy comes through a little stronger for some of you. Um, we see they're wanting it. There's just, I see there's something here stopping them, okay, from it being maybe as fast as you would both like. Okay, we are going to look at more channeled song messages, guys. Direct messages to you from your person through song can be that your song comes down, can also simply be the artist, a location, a title, even just a word, Scorpio, <laughs> cross watchers. And if you ever feel like you're sending the song or it's something you know you've sent recently or you've been wanting to, then you go with that. It's what resonates for you, okay? And it really is gonna be different for everyone. There's a lot of energy here today. On the day that you were born, the angels got together and decided to create a dream come true. So they sprinkled moon dust in you. They longed to be close to you. The Carpenters, written by Hal David. Guys, I wanna to say to you, this is very strong Cancer and energy, also Pisces energy, that does not surprise me. Aquarius as well, um, very divinely guided connection, we know that, but your person is really wanting that closeness, you guys. This is the second placement here. Uh, the, excuse me, with the six of wands wanting this, this healing with you, wanting to come with this, with this reunion. It's double confirmed here. These evergreen leaves do not change colors all year long. This is something your person hasn't let go of. We see it in the four of pentacles, also holding their offering here in the king of pentacles. But I also feel like it's been going on for a while. But it is a very deep love, you guys. They're wanting to be close to you, but yeah, there is something... And like I said, for some of you, it's you too <laughs> saying, yeah, well, I need this first. Um, they may not even have tried yet. That's the thing for some of you. You think I'd leave your side, baby? You know me better than that. By your side, Sade. Okay, you guys, very specific song there for somebody. I guess I'm lying to myself. It's just you and no one else. I miss you, the Rolling Stones. Okay, interesting. Why do I feel like that was something also um, here? Yeah, for some of you, really, it was another person. It's just not for everyone, you guys, but that is very clear here for some of you, very much. I was born to love you with every single beat of my heart. Yes, I was born to take care of you, queen. I was born to love you. Scorpio, yeah, your person is wanting this, um, offering you this commitment, I have to tell you. Gosh, okay, look, super emotional energy here. Your person is wanting to offer that to you. 
Um, I feel like it's just, uh, yeah, there's just some stuff that needs to come out, but it's very much, there's a lot of love here, you guys, and they're sitting here on their horse. They just need this, uh, this horse to turn around here and move and see where they're going. What is going on here? And that's the other thing too. Um, you guys, you're not letting of something go, but your person we see in the Four of Pentacles, they have not let you go and they are dreaming of having everything with you here, the Ten of Pentacles. But I also feel like the persistence that excuse me, that comes through. There's some Gemini Virgo there, guys, with the nine of wands is also coming through with your person. They're not going anywhere is what I want to say to you. I just feel like there's a block here um, for now with that offering, but they're really wanting it. And there's some guilt, I have to say. And for some of you, there's some shame here tied to this devil card, this Capricorn energy of, of something that has gone on in this connection, you guys. But that nine, gosh, wishes fulfilled, you guys. Things come into fruition here. It's pretty close to the end of your reading. Very strong need for rebalancing here. But your person wants to offer that commitment, I have to say. And your last reading was really intense. And your, your spread was intense. The lighting was intense. The, the technical stuff going on. It was really the throat chakra. Um, it was this feeling of your person really, the energy was so strong of them wanting to come and just wanting to open up and just spill their heart. Um, but it was, all this energy was just flying around. It just felt like it was um, like being bottled up, like wanting to, or like a wall, like pushing through it, like wanting to. It was so strong. It was like this, I'm coming, but bam, bam. And I feel it here, it's not as intense today, but it's still very intense and it's still very much the same energy, I have to tell you. It's just, we're not having as many <laughs> technical issues today. The mere idea of you, the longing here for you. You'll never know how slow the moments go till I'm near to you. Yeah, it does feel that way. Gosh, I see your face in every flower, your eyes and stars above. It's just the thought of you, the very thought of you, my love. The very thought of you, Tony Bennett, written by Ray Noble here. Yeah, guys. Scorpio, what went on between you guys? What did your person do? Because they're wanting to offer you this commitment. There's something um, keeping it from happening right away. But I do see it here very strong. And also you, um, you're holding on to something here. And I don't know what that is, so... I can't say um, anything about that really, either way. The long and winding road that leads me to your door will never disappear. I've seen that road before. It always leads me there. Lead me to your door, the Beatles. The long and winding road, written by Paul McCartney and John Lennon. Yeah, you guys, you've got something, some a little bit of block up here. You were hurt. You were really hurt, I have to say to you. I feel this hurt, and I feel like that's why you are you know what they want. I think you know that they want you too, Scorpio, and just holding on to something here. Um, knowing that you kind of hold the cards, I have to say here, um, but also just this hurt. You want some kind of justice from your person. We see that. Okay, guys, last chance. Last chance. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Didn't get to finish singing. This is no ordinary love, no ordinary love. This is no ordinary love, ordinary love, Sade. Didn't we already get this? Yes, no, we got by your side, guys. There's some more Sade for you. Um, let's see if I put this here. Okay, guys, they want me to look at this again. The long and winding road leads me to your door. There's your butterfly. We are going to look at the Tarot Closet Channeled Love Messages. Then we will pull a Christmas song, you guys. A channeled look. I have to show you. Look. These uh, two cards here are, are waiting on the deck. So these are going to be yours. Okay. I'm going to set those aside. I think there's two there. Yeah, these are yours. We'll look at them in just a moment. This is yours. I miss you. Okay, Scorpio. Yeah, let's just love here, you guys. And look at this gorgeous card. I just think it's the most beautiful card. And this love is very, very deep. 
very very strong twin flame soulmate energy very guided you guys and right now too during this time of year i have to say uh you're you guys are missing each other more than usual here it'd be really interesting to see what christmas songs came down for you because you did get two there i miss you yeah there's a lot of love there but uh, you hold your your <laughs> the people in your life to a particular standard and i understand that especially considering something here went on with this devil card energy. Yeah, look, I made so many mistakes. What were they, Scorpio? You deserve so much more. Your person feeling not a little bit, yeah, not worthy. I do feel the guilt, I have to say, guys. But I know that's not enough. You want to hear something in particular here. I will never give up on us. So many songs remind me of you. Playlists for sure, and some of you are musicians. You or your person, definitely. What do you want to say to your person? I really want to hold you. I'm putting this here with your mistletoe, guys. We'll see if they send you a kiss today. This is also yours. I'm afraid you will reject me. Could that be what is going on here with this horse sort of looking away? Because they're really wanting to offer this commitment to you, Scorpio. But there's something here. Could could that be what it is? Just the fear of what's went on, what has went on, maybe what they're hearing that you're doing now, just maybe being scared to face something that they've done here? I think for some of you, for some of you, it's something else, but that's really strong coming through now. I'm waiting for the right time. I am so lost without you. I received your telepathic messages. I fear you have moved on. Yeah, let's hear the come back to me, that temperance energy maybe of what they've heard or seen somehow through social media or... You are perfect. I love that for you. I'm putting that with the lover's card. All right. Scorpio's person... I was scared. Where I want to put that, you guys. It's hard. I don't like to hide things, you know. But that's just going to have to be... It's just We're getting to that point in the reading, guys. You're my biggest wish. It was me, not you. Okay, Scorpio's person. It's coming to an end now. Last chance. Last chance. Okay, that was me dropping, guys. Okay, there's three here, guys. You are so good to me. I'm sending you telepathic messages. A lot of telepathy between you guys. I want to tell you, you might not even realize when it's happening. I feel like some of you um, may not realize that when you're contacting someone who have, has sent a telepathic message out to you, whether they know it or not, those, those synchronicities that happen, you know, oh, I was just thinking of you, that as well. And also even when you're just walking around in your head or aloud talking to your person, those are telepathic messages, you guys, you're sending them to each other. They received yours and you are, yeah, and are you receiving theirs? My world is dark without you. Okay, you guys, let's see. I'm going to pull one more. I want to see if they're going to send you a kiss, you guys. Nope, but they sent you this. Can you feel my love? Oh, but this is yours also. Give me time. Okay, guys, that's that. Um, we are going to look at letters and numbers. Okay, can be from your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your person. Whoop, excuse me, guys. Let's get this star out for you, and I will hold it up at the end. 
lots of numbers today. Three, zero, one. There's another three. Oh, interesting. Okay. What is your higher purpose there, Scorpio? There's something going on with you outside of your love life for sure. Messages for you. Five, four, one. Interesting. And also two sixes, you guys. It's some more confirmation about maybe for some of you here, excuse me, guys, the camera there, letting something go, maybe giving your person a chance to talk, just whatever you've, you're deciding to do, whether you've moved on or you want to move on. Either way here, just a little bit of that softening of the defenses is coming through there. And your last are some initials, excuse me, some letters, I... That can also be considered an L, you guys, I want to say to you. M. If you guys see that as a W, you can. S, that's how you see it, and a G. I'm going to hold it up if you want to take a look. Scorpio, that is your reading today. Beautiful reading. A uh, lot of strong messages for you, and I... I your person has not let you go. There's a lot of love here, you guys, but I see there's some a lot of uh, wow. Look, this was right on your on your crown chakra. Interestingly enough, this is opalite, guys. All about communication here. Um, interesting. Cancer Libra energy, by the way. So that's kind of not surprising because we have the Justice card down here. I see there's something here going on with the Justice card, the Double card, the Queen of Swords. You're still wanting some clarity here. But gosh, your person is thinking about it. They're not letting go. They're dreaming about the future and the one that got interrupted. There's a lot of love between you guys. Scorpio, take care of yourselves. I send you love and light. All things good. Thank you for watching today. Of course, if you liked this video, the best way to show your support is to like the video. And if you uh, share it with someone you think might enjoy my work, Make sure that you, if you um, have not turned on your notifications, that you do that. I think it's down there. I'm always really confused where it is uh, because I'm, you know, my schedule is just, yeah, it's wonky, guys. I try so hard to change it and offer uh, offer them more in the week, and I just can't. We have been put in hard lockdown here. It's the holidays. It's everything's crazy. I'm homeschooling, so. That's how it is. But the best way to know is to hit those notification bells. Make sure you have them on on your phone as well. You can always silence them so it just pops up. And that way you know when your videos are coming. Okay, guys, I love you. Take very good care of yourselves. Happy holidays, wherever this finds you. However you celebrate, you are worthy, you're lovable, you're perfect as you are. Don't forget those things, okay? I love you. Bye, Scorpio.